Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So currently I'm overseas at Japan right now and fortunately I have Wi-Fi in my room. So just want to show you guys these four reads. As you can see, this is a defend on my base. I've changed my base layout a little. And also in my CC, my claimants have given me 35 archers to go for the defend. So this guy is using a four golems double jump strategy. So as you can see, he's attacking from the bottom, deploying his troops relatively not too bad. And uh, with low level king and queen. So he has gotten to the core of my base, as you can see, taking out my queen. And then now the king and queen has targeted my town hall. So I uh, just left with only his queen and his queen level 30 just took out my town hall as the queen just went down the moment my town hall got down. So it was really a close call for him with a percentage rather low uh, with just uh, his archers and four wall breakers and even a CC left. I'm not too sure what's in the CC as he didn't deploy it even till the end of the battle even with uh, like 44%. So I'm not too sure whether he could uh, continue to get a 50% with, I'm not too sure if he had a P.E.K.K.A inside uh, his CC, I'm pretty sure he could have gotten a 50% but he didn't deploy it. So I'm not too sure whether he disconnected or what. So the raid just ended here with 44% and uh, just one star, I'm losing 12 cups. So this is a second raid I'd like to show you guys, uh, also the same base I didn't change. So this guy was attacking from the top using uh, Laloons. So as you can see, he's uh, deploying it pretty okay with a dragon in his CC. So my CC troops have came out to harass his troops, uh, 35 archers, now dropping a lightning spell to take out some of my troops. And then my uh, skeleton traps has also came out, all three of them have been set to air and harassing his balloons. So as you can see, he's having a little problem with the percentage being at quite low. And also my multi infernos have taken out all his uh, minions. So he's just left with his king and queen, 5 minions, 5 war breakers and 4 archers. So let's see what's he gonna do about it. So he's trying to probably lower it to the right side, hit my archers. To take out the archers first, otherwise his king and queen will be distracted. So now seeing as the situation, uh, he's continuing to attack from the right, deploying war breakers to break through the wall. King and queen deploying over there. Um, what I noticed is uh, he made a mistake in this particular raid because um, he deployed his king and queen at the same spot. I feel he should have deployed his queen at the bottom to take out more of the structures to get more of the percentages. So he cloaked his queen and didn't have enough time to take out my CC now at 49%. So with just 3 archers and 1 minion left thinking what to do. If I'm him, I'll just be staring at the screen. I really do not know what to do at this point of time. So he tried a desperate move trying to take out that particular last building but it failed. So gaining me 38 trophies. So that was a really, a really nice win for me. But sad for him. So yeah, now this uh, second attack that I did. This is my attack. I found this base. It was worth 45 cups. So attacking from the right side, as you can see, uh, deploying my troops uh, in a very strategic manner. But this is my first attack after like 3 days because I was on shield for 3 days, so I was like a bit rusty. So I was a, a bit worried when this 45 couple came out, but then I just went for it, I just uh, didn't care. So I just tried my luck, hoping I could get like 1 star and just uh, not lose the raid, just get a 15 cup and should be fine. So I just continued the raid attack and then I was like a bit stunned because the... Uh, skeleton Tress was all floating on the top there. I've taken out a lot of my balloons and then now they are floating all the way to the bottom. So I was thinking how to take them out. So I realized that they only could attack air. So I used my archers to try to take them out one by one. So at this point of time, I was just slowly taking my time because there was a lot of time left. When you use air troops, uh, time really isn't much of a big problem. When you use ground troops, that's really when uh, time is a big factor. Especially when you want to get the last few percentages with your archers. Especially with uh, golems, they walk really really slow, but um, for lavas, lava hounds, they fly really fast, but balloons, if you reach them up, they really fly fast too. So as you can see now, uh, we are almost at 50%, uh, just uh, using my archers to snipe some of the buildings on the left side. And then now trying to get my king and queen into the core. So I was hoping my queen could get the town hall because I know for a fact that my king will never ever be able to get the town hall because it was uh, behind a wall and he'll be distracted by all the other structures. So now taking out the opponent's king and then now my queen has already uh, locked on to the town hall. So hoping that I will be able to get more percentages now the percentages is a little uh, tight. But uh, I forgot that I had archers on the left, bottom left side, so they have been taking out the structures, so getting off uh, for 51% and also that 30 cups. So now we will get uh, on to the second attack that I'd like to show you guys. This base appeared with, if I remember correctly, it's 23 cups. So I attacked this base and then after that, 
doing it in the same manner. But this space was a little tricky because the air defenses wasn't a place in a proper manner. So I found that it was a little hard to attack this base. And then um as you can see my balloon started to fly all the way in and at this point of time i was like hmm, please please the balloon go ahead and take the uh, do some splash damage onto the town hall so they really did a lot of splash damage but there was still one dot of hp left luckily that pup flew there and attacked the town hall taking it out so yeah um i, I was like really happy when the town hall went down hoping that my king and queen will be able to get the, the other few percentages to get the two star i knew that that wasn't a big problem so yeah, I've been sniping a lot of uh, town hall, so now we will look at uh, my attack log. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, out of the 10 of them, 8 of them are actually town hall snipes or getting 1 trophies other than the 2 of the raids that I've just showed you guys. So above 4,000 trophies, I've been sniping like 20 over town halls. I do not know why I've been sniping that many, but yeah, they just keep appearing and appearing and appearing. So I just keep sniping and sniping and sniping. So if we look at the local leaderboard, I'm at number 44 right now. Um, still pushing my way all the way to top 10 as uh, stated. And also if we look at the global uh, top leaderboard, if we scroll all the way down to the number 200's position, we are really, really far away to be even reaching the leader's board as we need like 4,500 trophies just to reach like number 198 or something. So uh, still a long way to go, but nevertheless, I'll still be pushing my way. Um, hopefully tomorrow uh, when I go for auto defend, I will be able to win another defend. But who knows? Um, not every day is Sunday, so uh, this thirty eight cups is just a uh, really a big bonus to me. Um, just hopefully tomorrow's uh, defend won't be like a minus thirty something over trophies or whatsoever. But never mind. If really that happens, I'll just continue to push my way all the way to top ten local. So um, I'll update you guys again when I'm back to Singapore. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.